I have been married to my husband, Alex, who many of you know, for over 26 years. And while we were not blessed to have our own children, Alex has served in those 26 years as the real and present and nurturing father to my five children, who affectionately, over the years, always referred to him as mummy. And you know, you know Alex, many of you. He's got quite a sense of humor. But the point is that we've had, in our own way, a very traditional marriage. And just because we did not have a child of our own biologically, that never detracted from our viewing ourselves as loving, married partners. Alex surprised me about 19 years ago when I was in the House and the late Rep. Senator Cal Anderson, then Representative Anderson, introduced, I think it was House Bill 1443, and I had a similar bill, House Bill 1445, non-discrimination bill, and we worked very closely. And I was so thrilled when we finally got that bill through um, with Senator Murray's and, and the work of many others here. And Alex and I were watching, as I recall, the name of it was, that was the week that was, that was broadcast, I, as I recall, on KCTS, public television in Seattle every Friday night. And I'd come home and we'd relax and we would watch that program. And Alex stated at that time, I don't understand. Why should anybody be prohibited from marrying the person they love? Now, I supported House Bill 1443, and I was the sponsor of it. But I didn't quite have my head around same-sex or equality, marriage equality at that time. He did. He saw it so clearly. And it really surprised me. And I soon thereafter understood exactly what he was talking about. And that never has affected our marriage. And I don't feel in any way, and I believe Alex does not, nor my children either, that their marriages, our marriage, their future marriages, my grandchildren's future marriages, would be at all threatened by having marriage equality in statute in our state. I mean, how would it possibly affect me? I don't believe that it would create a hostile environment on anybody who is heterosexual, who is married at all. And conversely, I believe that it's a great testament to traditional marriage in our society. For Senator Colwell, your time is up.